Hi Aries, and I hope you're all doing really well. So this is going to be a general love reading for the first, first half? No, second half of October 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. As always, it is a general reading, so it's not going to be everybody's situation, which also means that the roles can be reversed. Um, but if you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box below this video. All right, so the Oracle cards to start off your reading that we have here is abandoned. Okay, so either you or your person um, is feeling abandoned, <clears throat> basically, at this moment. Okay, so <clears throat> we will get into the tarot and see what this is about. So for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, second half of October in a love situation. What is going on here? All right, for the situation, we have the Seven of Swords crossed by the Sun. All right, so Leo is showing up already in your reading. Um, who somebody is avoiding. There's something that somebody here is avoiding. This is the situation that you're finding yourself in. And what it is that they're avoiding, they're avoiding happiness by doing whatever it is that they're doing that is a little bit deceptive or that is just, well, because avoidance can be deceptive, right? Avoiding what it is that you truly want or just sneaking away from a situation. Um, that is deceptive because this is something that would otherwise bring happiness. So whatever this behavior is, whether it's on your side or your person's side, um, it's actually creating a lot of unhappiness. Let's see the recent past. We have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, okay, so maybe this has been going on for a while, but somebody is feeling really trapped, like there is no way out or not being able to find the solution for something here. For your energy, we have the Hermit. Okay, so Virgo, some of you might also be dealing with the Virgo or you might have Virgo in your charts. And the King of Wands, for them we have the Two of Cups. Ooh, and the Five of Wands. Now what is coming up for you or the guidance for you is the Ten of Pentacles and what your person is moving towards. We have Justice, all right, Libra. Some of you might be dealing with a Libra. All right, Aries, so you, for the most part, I feel like you are a little bit withdrawn um, from this situation. You have been going inwards. You are soul searching. You're, I feel like you're just kind of keeping your distance here and just really focusing on finding your own sense of empowerment. Um, I don't know exactly what it is that you're doing here, but whatever it is, it's actually empowering you you're actually overcoming certain obstacles that maybe you were not able to overcome in the past. So in the past, you may have felt like you were just stuck in this situation of, you know, unhappiness being created, um, you know, feeling that abandonment, if that's you, but you're overcoming this. You're coming out on top, basically. Now, for the other person here, they have a lot of love for you, Two of Cups. I mean, they want this. They definitely feel the emotions. They feel the love between you and them. But there is something that is conflicting them here. This might even be external interference. Um, either that or, you know, they might be... There's something here that's creating some tension or even some, like maybe even competitiveness against you, but I feel like that's like some kind of a self-defense mechanism. All right, however, I mean, look at this. What is coming up or what the two of you are moving towards is looking um, quite positive here, all right? You have the 10 of pentacles. So this is all about stability, um, long-term commitment possibly even. All right, this, I mean, this could even be marriage, but I'm seeing it more as you finding your own sense of stability and things just coming together and you just really being fulfilled, right, in terms of your needs. And this person is moving towards justice. So this is balance. This is um, <clears throat> making the right decisions. So let's clarify some of these. Let's see what's going on here. So for the Seven of Swords and the Sun, for the situation, 
And we have the Two of Pentacles and the Death card. Ooh. What is it that someone is avoiding here? Um, someone is avoiding bringing about some kind of an ending. Either that or there has been an ending and hmm, it, it just feels like someone is having a hard time either bringing about an ending because it feels overwhelming or because it feels like they just won't be able to cope or someone is having a hard time coping with an actual ending. But because we have the Seven of Swords, I feel like it's more of an avoidance, like avoiding some kind of a, um, an ending or a major, major transition here. It almost feels like, yeah, you know, for some of you, this could be that there's a third party involved because with that Two of Pentacles, it could be somebody um, trying to manage between two different energies or trying to figure something out here in terms of two different things. So it could be a third party or it could be something else standing in the way, like a job, for example, and trying to really make make a decision here in terms of having to end something but there's been as i said there's been avoidance and because of that this is resulting in a lack of happiness and fulfillment let me see this eight of swords for the recent past the wheel of fortune and the four of pentacles a lot of rigidness here there's a lot of resistance in terms of bringing about a change um, not only that, it feels like somebody was resisting destiny, almost like, you know, something that the universe is pushing them towards and they're just like, no, 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 <laughs> resisting it, even though like all the signs are there, everything is pointing in that direction, um, even things are happening in this person's life, whether this is you or them, it's not clear yet, um, things happening in this person's life to assist them in this particular direction, but they're like, nope. I mean, holding on to this stubbornness. No, there is no way out. It's like a lot of overthinking and seeing the negatives. Only see, focusing and seeing the negatives in terms of where this wheel is pushing them towards. Yeah, so a lot of avoidance here. A lot of avoidance and it's just leading. I feel like it led, if this is them, it led you to feel abandoned or, you know, it could even be that they're feeling abandoned, but let's see. Let's clarify the Hermit for your energy. The Ten of Cups and the King of Pentacles. So you're really exploring within yourself like what it is that would make you happy. I feel like, you know, you're you're really wanting happiness here. And I feel you are moving in that direction. You are moving in that direction, but what you are realizing is that, you know, you need, um, you want somebody who is going to be this king of pentacles, somebody who is able to provide long-term stability and be committed to you 100% rather than juggling two energies, whatever that other energy is. So this is you really having done this exploration within yourself or really coming to this understanding this realization that that is what is going to make you happy and you know seeing whether you know you can find this here in this connection or not um for some of you this could even be that this is you realizing that this is how you need to be in order to have this happiness okay so it really depends let me see this king of wands because either way, with this King of Wands being here, yeah, this is you really standing in your power. We have the Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. Okay, I see what you're doing here. There's a situation here where you are making this decision to not give. Um, to not give to this situation anymore. So... If this is you juggling two energies, well then, you know, you're you're moving towards really understanding where it is that you want to give. Where do you want to focus your energy on? All right, because there's something here that you've been giving to. All right, and maybe it's just this person, right? If it's the other way around, if it's the if it's the other person juggling two energies, you're the then this would be you um, not giving 
energy to this anymore in whatever way right you're you're it's like you're standing your ground here you're like setting some kind of a boundary you're standing up for yourself in some way and you're like nope i am not giving to this particular situation any more and by doing that you are empowering yourself here and you are overcoming whatever stuckness you may have felt in the past so let's see what's going on with this other person here let's see this two of cups temperance okay so sagittarius and the ace of cups Wow, that's a lot of love. This is someone who, um, like, this is not just enthusiasm. This is not just lust. This is not just, you know, playing around. This is somebody who really has true, genuine, unconditional love for you. Um, I don't know if that, I mean, hold on. Let me see this five of wands because, I mean, this just looks beautiful. So I really want to see what what the issue is here on the other person's side. Let's see the five of wands. <laughs> the eight of swords showing up again and the empress. All right. Okay, so this is the person who is stuck. All right, at least that's how it's presenting itself right now. Um, It, I do feel like there is another person here involved. Um, again, for some of you, it might be a job. I'm seeing a specific message here, though, for some of you where it is actually a person, all right, that is keeping them stuck in a situation. But it's not the other person that is keeping them stuck. It's their own thoughts about it. So for some of them, and this could even be a mother, I'm getting that specific message. And for others of them, it could be um, a marriage person a marriage partner like a spouse. There's a lot of conflict here um, because of that situation. And there, this is something that is creating a lot of overanalyzing, overthinking, or feeling like, you know, there is no way out, even though this person has so much love for you. So I do see them still being stuck in their head a little bit. Um, during this time feeling like there's just no way to overcome whatever this um, outside interference is it almost feels like whoever this is you know they are putting up a fight putting up a fight against your person here I actually want to get a couple more for this let's get a couple more details here I don't usually do this but I feel like we need it The Five of Cups and the Four of Swords. All right. So I'm also getting that this person, like the way that they might be behaving might be a, a, towards you, um, might actually be contradictory to how they actually feel. All right. Because they feel all this love for you. But I'm also getting here that they might be presenting themselves in a way where they seem a little bit hostile towards you um, or a little bit, um, what's the word? It feels almost competitive, but it's not exactly competitive. It's kind of like um, this, a, a hint of hostility or a hint of just going against you in some way. Like if you are in contact, like this could come off as, you know, anything you say is wrong or anything you say bothers them. Um, Almost like, you know, they just negate anything that you might think or that you might have to say. Something along those lines. But that's not representative of what they're truly feeling. Like, this is actually causing a lot of unhappiness for them and a lot of grief. Almost like they can't help themselves. But it's like serving as a self-defense mechanism because they're feeling so um, stuck. So what I'm getting here, though, for the second half of October is that there is something here, there's something that this person is grieving and I feel like what they're grieving is this like potential ending that they are trying to cope with or trying to manage. All right, it's like they're grieving that, but it's like through this process and through whatever behavior they are displaying, 
there's actually healing that is happening beneath the surface. Like this is just their reaction to the grief. So, yeah, take that however it might make sense for you, if it does. So let's see what you are moving towards here. Let's see that Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles for Aries, please. The Page of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you're moving in a new path here, and I feel like, you know, you're, this is, you know, almost like it's like a new kind of a concept for you, almost like you're feeling inspired to move towards what is going to bring you stability, and not, not giving your energy to something that is not giving you stability. So you're working towards this, whatever it is that you're doing, you are manifesting this result. So you're, it's like you're taking those steps which are ultimately bringing you 100% commitment, stability, you know, regardless of what that is going to look like in the details. Let's see justice for your person here, for what is coming up for them, because that looks really, really positive, doesn't it? <laughs> Ooh, the tower and the sun, wow! Wow, okay, so Leo showing up a second time. But basically what this is saying to me is that this person is moving towards making a huge decision. Some kind of a karmic balance is happening here. So I again, I feel like the both of you actually feel abandoned in this situation um, to some extent. But there is something huge that is happening here. Whatever this justice card is, I mean, this could be something, it, it's going to be life-changing, right? It's like, um, like the tower together with justice could definitely be a divorce, something coming to an end here, right? That ending that has been resisted all this time. Um, or at least moving in that direction of making that decision that, yeah, you know what, something really needs to change here. We need to destroy, you know, what is already um, existing here in order to start over. And then we have that sun, right, which was the ch challenge in the very beginning of this reading. And now we have the sun coming up here. So, you know, realizing that we cannot avoid happiness, like we cannot avoid this fulfillment. So that's what's coming up um, for this person here. Of course, I see you doing your own thing here and starting like on some kind of new path. So who knows what might happen after that. But yeah. So let me just pull a final card um, for you, Aries. I feel like we need one. Just anything that wants to come through here. We have the Emperor. Everything is going to be fine. I feel like, you know, you're stepping into your own energy. You're empowering your own self. And then ultimately, I feel like, you know, the other person is actually um, following that same path. So keep doing what you are doing. Stand in your power. Know what, know what you deserve. Know what you want. Know what it is that is bringing you happiness. And don't give energy to what does not bring you that fulfillment. All right, Aries. Those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.